right, so welcome back, episode 17. Yeah, we're moving. We are. Yeah. It's, it's great. Uh, episode 16 was a good one. Yep, all the guys here. Yeah, Brandon DeMasso yep. in the studio for the first time. Killer. Talking about illustrations, so yeah, that, that's a good one. It they were due. Turn, yeah, they were due. Yep. It turned out great, so if you haven't seen that, I suggest you uh, check that out. Episode 16, right? Yep. Yeah, yep. right on. So, Yeah, so let's get moving on 17 here. So Matt uh, Trizzler. More uh, more great, great stuff as always. Do you guys ever have issues with clients liking the apparel too much and wanting to change the logo to match? Looking at the barrel-headed octopus, I'd be worried that Jimmy would want to incorporate this into his main logo. Good point. <laughs> just uh, come with a banger illustration. They yeah. say, oh, well, let's just use that instead. Yeah. Here's our logo. <laughs> um, yeah, it can be an issue. It's one of those things when you're quoting out a job um, and kind of specking out the deliverables, you need to be up front with hey you are you you are paying for apparel graphics not a logo mm -hmm. you know at, at no point can this be used as your main logo right um this can be used on apparel and product and you can you can go as far as to spe you know specify what product you know you might not want those t-shirt graphics to turn into a skateboard mm -hmm. which in reality it shouldn't you know right. things are priced accordingly and a t-shirt graphic is not priced the same as a logo. Right. You know, so. And even in use cases, mm -hmm. you know, that t-shirt design was designed to fit that t-shirt and at that scale. You know, as soon as you start moving that thing around and using it in different places, scaling it down for your website, then, man, you lose some quality in certain areas. Exactly. Depending on how elaborate the illustration is. For sure. And then somebody goes, hey, your logo's shitty. There's way too much detail. Who did that? <laughs> you know, and you're like, shit, well. We, it wasn't we supposed to be it. the yeah, logo. We didn't design that as a logo. Exactly. So, yeah, it's a good, it's a great question, and it's something that you know I think every designer will battle with at some time, some point in their career. You'll have a client that is so stoked on on something you do, they try and turn that into their logo. Yep. You know. Yep. And yeah, it's it's not okay. So yeah, you just need to educate the client up front. Thank you, uh, thank you, Matt. Great, uh, great question. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. So today we are diving into. A project we did a couple of years back. You, uh, you've been at the studio yep. for a little bit, yeah. And uh, and we got the call to work on an ESPN project. So big deal. Yeah. Um, in my eyes, I was like, wow, this is this is cool. This is gonna be a fun one. Yeah. Another one of those ones you get the call and you're like, what? Let's yeah. go. Yeah. How did those jacked up? up? Here? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we we get hired from time to time from different ad agencies. Um, we have one in Chicago we work with. On a regular basis, um, this one came from an agency in LA. I had a friend that was uh, that I worked with at DC Shoes that ended up be going into animation and and uh, motion graphics, and so he's the creative director at this studio in LA. So they have the contract with ESPN, so they hired us to do all the creative, basically. It's awesome. Yeah. So. Never burn a bridge, people. No, you don't. You never know where those people are going to end up. Yeah. You know? especially de designers and creative directors, you know, at, at some point in your career, a lot of those people bounce around. Um, it's a small world out there. It is. And they, they will call you back, you yeah. know, so for sure. So super stoked to, to kick this off. Um, so what you're looking at here is what we got for, it just kind of represents, they sent this over as, hey, this is the, the logos from past. This is what we don't want to do. So they came with this brief, um, and then they sent us this ESPN logo. That's kind of the only asset we had to work with. Um, they came with this brief that was kind of a bit challenging because they were like, we want <clears throat> all the old logos, the kind of broadcast logos for ESPN are very super highly rendered 3D, you know, whether it's a badge or type and it's rotating and the light's shining and it's blinging. Gradients and, yeah, and tricks just, and little gimmicks and things. Yeah, yeah. You know, so they were like, we want to go in a totally different direction. We want to show super clean and then we want to show kind of this street, I guess, brush edgy look, you know. Handmade. Kind of, yeah. Yep. Yeah. But kind of this full hand done logo um, type. So two totally different things. You know, one designer is going to work on this. One's going to work on this. Um, you couldn't be couldn't be any different. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> so what you're looking at here are some pages, some mood boards they pulled from our website um, of type that we've done in the past. This is some Nitro Circus type that Damaso does. Um, big ass pen and marker. Which it's always good that when they can pull stuff from your own portfolio, because then you're like, all right, we got that one in the bag. You That's know? the best. Yeah. yeah, we've kind of talked about that before. You know, it's it's like if you get this, you get a full brief, and it has stuff that looks similar to yours, but there's nothing of yours mm -hmm. in that brief. You kind of like, 
shit, why did they, they look at my work? Yeah, why don't they look at our stuff? <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, so to get a brief like th this, that is just all of our own work, you're like, oh, okay, hell yeah. yeah. You know, you're stoked. Yeah, so um, just some more type here for Nitro Circus, Bill Bong. Um, and then they went into the the last part of the project was going to be uh, mascots and specific schools that we we're going to work on. So this was kind of uh, a nod to that. This is a bunch of WWE work we did in the past, um, different character illustrations combined with type. These are fun. We got to yeah. do a, an episode on this. Super um, cool. WWE episodes For coming sure. out. For yeah. sure. That'd be a great one. Uh, that could be a two-parter. Yeah. So moving on, some uh, illustration work for Nike, um, pencil illustrations. So kind of a very broad brief. Um, nothing in here clean as far as clean logos. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of, I talked to them and it was kind of like, we, I have a handle on exactly what you're looking for for that, you know? Right. Um, but this part, I was like, I had not seen how that's going to translate to a ESPN logo, mm -hmm. you know? So, or get chosen for yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> in how, the end. how is that going to work? Yeah. So. Um, so this was the brief they sent over. So let's move on to round one. Um, so with this being, this is probably one of the largest logo packages we've sent over for round one. Yeah. I think there's tons of concepts, 32 concepts in here. Um, and the budget, uh, allowed for that. And, and the brief, it, 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 it was almost like we have to go that far mm -hmm. because you had the two different, uh, styles that they're hoping to, to look and at. almost you want to cover what's in between you know you get like yeah. the it's like clean to dirty handmade so like what is that what's in between that exactly. too you know yeah. a lot of options a lot of options you, you're not going to get there with six comps yeah you know? exactly so, got to do some exploring yeah so this was like a full team effort everybody jumped in you have this super clean one number one here um big you know big square clean simple um definitely looks like something that they could have done in the past or and that's one of those things with a project like this. You you almost need to show something that is a bit similar to what they've done, mm -hmm. um, just so safe. You, yeah, you can be. You got to be safe about at least one or two of them. I call them mild and wild sometimes. Yeah. Like play that mild one and show them what they need and exactly. or what they think they need or whatever, and then go crazy on some other ones. Yep. Um, this one is super fun. I love this number mm -hmm. two. Uh, college basketball. Yeah. Is this short? Yep. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, that's fun. Um, you can just see this thing moving. Yeah, the you animated know, like, version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that was one of the things that like we were trying to keep in mind is the the main use of this is going to be broadcast. Yeah, it's on screen. Move. Yeah, yep. on screen. This thing is going to come in. It's going to build. It's going to build out, and it's going to continually do this. Um, so how is that going to work? So we had to keep that in mind when doing these. And this one, I mean, this one, I can see this. Yeah, this would be great. Yep. Uh, this one as well, super fun. Is this yours? I don't even remember, no? honestly. Yeah. This was a while. Might have been dust. It's probably four years ago. Yeah. yeah. But basketball in the middle. So we had to look at, you know, a little bit of, okay, what, you know, what is college basketball? What, you know, what can we call out or use for that? You know, center court line, yep. you know, ball, yep. obviously, um, stuff like that. So the elements to pull from. Mm hmm. Uh, this one was done by Brandon, so a little bit more illustrated style. This was leaning towards that brief with all the type and, and illustrated type, so yep. definitely a little bit different. Boom, uh, <laughs> Damaso. That comes with audio. Yeah, this one's got <laughs> this one's got movement for sure. You can definitely see this thing animate. Yeah, know? that'd be crazy. So again, you know, kind of a nod to that brief. As far as, you know, they wanted kind of this urban pen and ink kind of style. So Damaso crushes it on that. And then this is, I think this is Dustin. Mm -hmm. This one too, you can just see it building in. You got those stripes up top. Yep. You know, that's just. That would be cool. Yeah. And just how the letter forms are like elongated. You just like drag that in. Yeah. Those are just stretching out yep. and building and getting longer. Yep. And, yeah. Snap into place. Yeah. And then here's, uh, I mean, basically you got the Nitro Circus type here. Yep, you know? yep. That big blocky brush. I don't even know what it is. Yep. Something. I mean, look at that basketball net, though. Ooh, yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I mean, if they would have went in this direction, like, mm -hmm. how rad would that have been? It would have been really cool. Like, you definitely would have stopped, you know, if you're watching ESPN, you're like, whoa, what is this? Totally you different. Know? Yeah. Yep. Yep. I love the top one where there's you, you got the little ball on the bottom, but you have the type going around the circle, suggesting mm -hmm. you know, a it's negative space. Yep. Yeah, yeah, things cool. Yeah, for sure. And then the bottom one where you just have the lines of the ball, but no, no outside line. Mm -hmm. 
that would be cool. Using the gray was smart too. Just kind of set it back a little bit. Yeah, get that ESPN to pop up. Another one stretching it out. Yeah, another like, crazy one. Yeah. Yeah, what would that look like moving, you yep. know? Exactly. With something like this could have ended up being, you know, you get a ball in there and the ball's like dropping and that going would be cool. through. Yeah, going Plinko through. Plinko style. Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one's kind of wild. This was Dustin. I know he was kind of struggling with. He's like, you think that's a, a net on the bottom there? Because that top one has the, mm -hmm. you know, kind of the, the cut and, you know, is it a net? I'm like, no, nah, man, it's cool. Like it suggests a net. And if you read what it is, you know, college hoops, I think you're like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just a suggestion I think is, mm -hmm. is fun to try. Yep. This was combined a bit with the, with another one to kind of come to get close to the final. Mm -hmm. They they picked this one in round two. A little hint to the, the blocks on the side of the – or on the court, you know, mm -hmm. like at the free throw line or whatnot. Yeah. You kind of play some basketball a little bit here yeah. and there, don't you? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Every time we go on a treat, it's like – you, Davey, and Davey. Yep, we yeah, we play a ball, yep. start shooting. Yeah, somewhere. yeah. I remember back at the old studio, Davey and uh, Davey and Damaso would go play at lunch every once in a while. Yeah, I, I've never seen him play, but I guess Damaso gets pretty physical. Like, and and uh, Dustin had said that, like, oh, Damaso's gonna like knock Davey to the ground for sure. And uh, yeah, so we don't know what ever happened. But. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I know they played a couple times at lunch and then they stopped. So I kind of think I do know what happened, but. So, that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. Um, this one, super rad. Yeah. Damaso painted, basically airbrushed this whole thing. Um, but that basketball type, page uh, page 19. Whew. This combines like a bit of their vibe they were going after and also some of the old kind of heritage aesthetics with it the, does. you know, older logos. For sure. Some of the gradient effects and things. Yeah. Without it like having that chrome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a softer kind of approach. Mm -hmm. I remember that bottom one where you kind of have the. It's like a play. Off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, didn't they ask? I think they asked for changes or they to might add have more. Or yeah, something. you kept working on this I, one. I think you're right. Which is cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, just that one. You know, in my mind, I'm thinking the animation. You know, you could little yeah, sketchy yeah, draw sure. lines on there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and for it's sure. great. I mean, I, I suggest for you know designers like, <clears throat> it's not hard to do this on. Um, but what Jordan did was, you know, you basically build out that top one that's very simple, very clean, your safe version, copy and paste that bad boy below it, and then build on it, you know, and show them something that, you know, takes it a little bit farther. Right. And that's what you did here, yep. you know, which I think is great because they can see like, okay, it could be clean, but that bottom one, you got all that, that detail in there, Yep. you know, so. And sometimes like if you were to just present that bottom one they might be like oh man those little sketchy lines get that out of here that's too much you know but then if they see that clean mild version then they're like oh okay i can see it works without it you know yeah exactly yep kind of got the stamped uh yep what's it called letter uh letter press yep yeah letter press logo or uh type here yeah page 22 this is you mm -hmm. yep yeah, kind of more of the classic badge mm -hmm. approach yep yeah that's that's cool that's fun you can see it as you know just a big old t or just representing you know a patch on yeah on a jersey or whatever That'd be rad yeah just kind of going with the brush script on the basketball college basketball kind of mixing the two together still clean though mm -hmm. yeah get the brush with the the clean college type that uh, one's cool it is cool i think this is dustin as well mm -hmm. You get just the huge ESPN college and then basketball. Mm -hmm. And yeah. just the word, the way that basketball wraps around mm -hmm. all simple, yeah. buttery. You can see that thing typing in. Yeah. 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 Oh, dang. Hey, page 25. Super dang. Like, That's this is crazy. Great, this is a great t-shirt <laughs> uh, t-shirt graphic, but for the logo, this would be tough. Yeah. But Damaso, I mean, we gave him we gave him the brief, and, you know, it's kind of like go wild. Mm -hmm. And when you do that with Damaso, like, he'll go wild. Yeah, he'll you get in. some stuff that's unexpected, mm -hmm. which Always. is awesome. You yeah. know, push the boundaries a little bit and make them choose, mm -hmm. like, why not or why, what they like about it. And totally. Like the net wrapping in and out of those letters there. Crazy. Yeah. And, and his marker type kills me. Yeah. Like, that's just the best. Yeah. It just looks, I mean, it looks legit. I think he's busting real markers out mm -hmm. on that, you know, on most For of them. For the most part, yeah. yeah. And he's scanning it, bringing it to Photoshop, mm -hmm. and knocking it out. Yeah. Yeah. He's got it down. Yep. This was a Davy piece. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this, you'll kind of see this evolve. But great, great use of the basketball, <clears throat> you know, instead of it being whole and up top or whatever, it's in the bottom, falling mm -hmm. out through the hoop, you know? Yep, yep. 
in the backboard kind of or a suggested backboard you yep. could say mm -hmm. uh 27 cool i had to, had to show the script you know gotta do it yeah the way that g comes down and, and holds the basketball type in there mm -hmm. and fills that circle very nice yeah big badge huge basketball um yeah it's, it's clean yep yep 20 page 29 we're kind of skimming through these quick because like i said i think there's the 32 comps on, a lot yeah, <laughs> yeah on this uh first first round so yep. was this you yeah it was weird yep this that one's me cool. yep just trying simple but what can you do with the, the couple pieces of type and a logo to make yep. it unique so yeah i love the espn logo rotated like it's a different way to handle it right yeah, and i think it, that could be fun this made it to the second round mm. they had this on their comps that i saw um I thought this was going to be the winner. Mm -hmm. Was this you? It is. It yep. is? Yeah. This is great. I was liking this one, too. Yeah. Just a nice shield, page 30. Um, nice shield. Can't go wrong with that mm -hmm. in any sport, you know? Yeah. Like The little bevel on it just kind of makes it, I don't mm -hmm. know, it has just a slight kind of, uh, not elegant, but like trophy-esque kind of vibe yeah. to it. And the way the bottom of the shield is basically coming in to make the yep. that you know mark or, or line on the the basketball is amazing because that thing could draw itself in yeah, you know where the cool. shield draws in and mm -hmm. it makes that loop and then For the, the ball animation. comes in yep. yeah so page 31 college hoops a little bit you know a little tougher super hard edged uh dustin piece here yeah. I, could, I could see that being used. I Same. mean, it's almost like numbers on a jersey. Mm -hmm. it, it would be a font or something they would use on a jersey. For 100%. A team, you know? Yeah. Blocky. Yeah. And uh, same with this, you know, similar to what you did, that top one. Very clean, simple. I mean, he does have the big backboard O on hoops, but then you pull that down to the bottom, bring that O back in, and then do an illustration of a basketball, mm -hmm. you know, so you can see kind of both options there. And this is almost like a storyboard to an animation where you could have it, you know, like the top piece starts and then it finishes out to be the bottom piece. For whatever. sure. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Page 32, another one. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, another fire one from yeah. Damaso. This too could be a, a t-shirt graphic, yep. you know. But the big ring up top suggesting the, the, the hoop, mm -hmm. you know, like. It's got like a 90s vibe to it. Totally. The little yeah. drop shadows and things and it gradients. Been, it would have been cool to show it without the fill. Mm -hmm. in, the, in college you yeah know, or just white that, yeah just white i think it would have read it would read a little bit better sure Ooh, that's a cool one page 33 yep big laid out you know vertical type this one this one's cool it's very very clean um this too i think made it to the second round mm -hmm. that basket um was this you i don't think so no. yeah i think this might have been dustin okay yeah straightforward super yeah. usable the bath, you know, you, you get, get, you get yeah, you get the back, the backboard <laughs> and the hoop, you know, if you want to play it safe, there yep. it is, you know. Number uh, page thirty-five. That one's cool. Yeah, this is cool. You got the digital kind of look to it. Super modern. Mm hmm You got yourself a square basketball or rectangle, yeah, you know. Yeah, digital basketball. Yeah, <laughs> yep. So it's not that perfect circle. Totally different. But you approach. still know exactly what it is. You do. Yep. And the top one with the line through college. Mm -hmm. How it lines up yeah. right on the crossbars for the mm -hmm. E's and stuff. It lends itself good. Yeah. Page 36. This thing's wild. Yeah. This is this would be tough, um, but it, it's fun with the college script going through. I think that could be cool. Interlocking uh -huh. and looping around. Yep. Uh, page 37. I think Brandon came with the type on this. A little bit of marker type. Um, this going back to their brief as well. That bottom one is cool mm -hmm. with the splatters. I mean, that thing on screen, like I said, would be a totally, totally different look for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, kind of the same here. Just a little bit different, mm -hmm. a little bit faster type on page uh, 38. Horizontal. Yep. So uh, so that was it. That was first round comps. Kind of kind of a lot there, a lot for them to look at. Yep. It's what they asked for. Um, it's not usually what we do as far as that many comps for a logo project, but... This and, was a big one. And this one, w since we were working with another agency, uh, we knew that obviously they understand design, they value design. And with ESPN, you know, you'd hope to think that those guys are valuing it and understand it to a point where they could make decisions based on these concepts and yeah. not, not get caught up on, since there's so many, but just For be able sure. to quickly put some aside and quickly put some in a basket and yep. move to the second <laughs> round. Exactly. So they basically went to ESPN, came back, um, 
with uh, with some changes. So this next round, round two, page 40, is, is kind of what you're seeing here. This, <clears throat> I think they asked for this. Um, Brush uh, type. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, let's not do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. You know, I, I don't feel like you can combine the two unless it's like college clean and the basketball mm -hmm. box up with it. But for some reason, when you put like hand-drawn type on on a path, like on a round or something, then it just doesn't feel like it's hand drawn, you right. know, because yeah. it feels too computer made. Totally. Where it's like you yeah. lose the quickly yeah. handmade effort, you know. Like, would you ever write a script yeah. around a circle? It's like, like a loosely made script, but then mm -hmm. it's like perfectly rendered on a circle. So, like, I guess your mind kind of just sees through that. Totally. Yeah. So I feel like, I mean, this one definitely didn't work um this is that one going back <clears throat> this is you know mm -hmm. the safe route you got the the backboard you got the the hoop in there yep um i understand why i made it through the second round totally 100 sure. yep. and then uh page so you got page 41 and then 42 added in there the cbb um you'll see as we get further along they had uh, come to find out as we're moving <clears throat> moving along in this logo process that this logo was going to have to have like six different lockups, um, like for segments. Yeah, it was like for, Monday night basketball. Yeah. Like you'll see it as we go on. Um, so you see here, uh, page forty-three. We're working in the CBB, which I can't. I what what that stand for? I'm not sure. I can't. I think you'll see it at the end. But um, so we had that little element. We had to work. Is it college basketball? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. It'd be weird to put that twice. Right? Yeah. We'll we'll figure it out here. Um, <laughs> so the script they wanted to see this this expanded on. So that's what you're seeing on 43, and then you go to page 44. This was Davies. They took out a lot of it, simplified it. You got the college basketball, which it it must be. You know. It may be. Yeah. Just a shortened version. Page 45. You kind of see that original one Davy did which they there wasn't a lot of changes to, to this one mm -hmm. 46 this was Damaso's that it was fully hand done they basically want to see a vector version of that like what would that look like this could have been it yeah that's you know? super clean what would have been rad is if it like starts with his kind of hand brushing you know and then it builds out to be this yeah. solid vector logo Seriously. Um, so page 46 I mean I think that could be super fun I just love the net, mm -hmm. the suggested net. You yeah, know, with those and the, top, the round top mm -hmm. on the thing, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah that's a backboard. Yeah, totally. And then page 47 here, this one's yours. Yep, some baby tweaks. Yeah. What I love is you have those, you have college and you have those lines going in. Mm -hmm. and it almost looks like the ball is falling or the type is kind of going into the basket. Uh -huh. You know, there's definitely a bunch of movement up top. For sure. Which is cool. And, well, and then you got b-ball, which is fun. Right, you know? right. Yeah. I like the bottom one, the way you arc the type. Oh, yeah, good eye. You know, more so than yeah. the, the top one yeah. without the arc. Showing some options there. Yeah. Page uh, 48, this was yours. Oh, yeah. wanted to expand on. The b-ball versus the basketball. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's fun because it's like a challenge. You know, you, you make one thing and it says a thing, and then they're like, hey, put this word in there instead. And you're like, whoa. Yeah, you kind of like, it's, a, <laughs> it's not the same amount of letters, totally. guy. Come and on. B-ball's like huge, you know, <laughs> yeah, and you're exactly. like. Kind of find something that fits, you yeah. know. But carries the same kind of aesthetic. Like mm. font families need to be similar and yeah, stuff like that. So this one, uh, Dustin's expanded on that. and Brought that thing kind of down that top one, page uh, 49. It's cool. Top mm -hmm. one I like. The bottom one I feel like is a little bit too square mm -hmm. and angular. Yeah. Um, but that top one, you can s see that ball dropping. Yeah, there the is little. more motion to it just when mm -hmm. you add a couple angles. Yeah. Page 50. This is Brandon's. They wanted they wanted to see what it was going to look like with the college b-ball. You could have a lot of fun with those. Oh, holes, for you know? sure. Like, yep. I think this could be cool. Stacking them up. Yeah. Page 51. Back to that modern one. Back to that modern one. They have, you know, the top one. They wanted college written in some kind of script up there, which I, I feel like works on this because you have that black block, yeah. you know? It's like you just, you know, those uh, standard issued phys ed t-shirts, write your yeah, name write on your them. Name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the name here is college. Yeah. yeah. So. And then they rounded out the basketball. The basketball. Yep. yep. It's now rounded. Yep. They weren't going to go for that. <laughs> it was a little too wild. <laughs> was, yeah. That was a bit much. 
So 52, they wanted more of a, see a couple more crests, big, and they were kind of struggling with like, okay, what, you know, what is the hierarchy on, on the logo? Totally. You know, is it ESPN? Is it the ball? Is it college? Is it b-ball or is it basketball? Mm -hmm. you know, what do you so, read first? Yeah, what, what is it? You know, so the 52 was kind of messing with, you know, what if the ESPN is huge? So moving on to round three. So this this project went pretty smooth. They came back on on this third round, and they're like, "These are our six that we would kind of want to push 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 a bit further." Um, you have a bunch of them in here. So these, I mean, this is page fifty four. These are all super clean. We lost the brush. Oh yeah, we the whole vibe whole, is gone. That whole thing's yeah. gone. Yeah, that thing got no ditched. grunge. No, nope. nothing handmade. Yeah, we're gonna play it safe. We're gonna <laughs> go with the the clean vector logo, which you know that's smart, but. So moving on to the final. So boom, this is final page fifty six. They went back to Davies. Yep. You know. Yep. <laughs> like they they had picked those six. They presented them again to ESPN, um, and they came back with okay, we're we're gonna run with this. I can you can see why that that badge can move up and down. It can have basketball in there. Super flexible. Yeah, you got game day, big Monday, champ week, Super Tuesday. I mean, there's so many variations, mm -hmm. and they, they knew that, mm -hmm. you know? And even the pulled-out ball that just sits in the rim, kind of, and then the, the text below it kind of suggests the net. It's pretty cool, those little ones on the bottom. Yeah, those are fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We got ESPN Live, and it's just the, the type that makes the net. There were your basketball you can pull out, have that thing bouncing, which we have in the, yep. in the animation, you know? So it was very easy to use. We were stoked. I mean, this thing it, it it accomplished what they wanted, which was a very clean, different look from from previous years. Yep. You know, um, so then we uh, send it off. We get kind of final confirmation. Hey, this is the logo. Da da da, and then you go move on to page uh, fifty seven, and then it's like here, check it out. And they they went back and rendered the logo in three D, polished it up, and now it kind of looks like previous years. Yeah. You know? Full, which it fits and it, all it, the tricks yeah all yeah. the all the all the bells and whistles yeah there. it looks real it does look real i mean <laughs> that basketball looks legit and they even got it in the top right the ball going through the hoop yeah um after that we basically wrapped that whole deal up then um <clears throat> they they're like okay now for each team we need basically a mascot and a broadcast kit of of type and mascots and graphics that we can use um when there's different games mm -hmm. So this could have ended up being a huge project on on this part of it if they would have went in this direction. Um, they paid us to do two teams, uh, mascots, type badges. If they were going to use those, we we're going to have to blow out all every of, team. Yeah, That'd been a all lot. The college teams, so it would have been super rad. Mm -hmm. um, but they they this uh, ended up getting killed in the end. But let's roll through this. Um, they came with this mood board. So more of the scripts, kind of badge lockups. You have some mascots in here. Um, they wanted to keep it, not get too collegiate with it. Um, keep it a little bit street, a little bit fun. First team was Ohio State Buckeyes. <laughs> so they picked two teams, Kansas Jayhawks and then Ohio State Buckeyes. So this here, uh, super rad script, Davey with the character dude. You got mascot. Yep, the Davey, flag. Davy yep. is on it all day. College. Yep. Screaming it. So here's a, a whole set of what we sent them. Yeah, I mean, everybody kicked on all this thing. Yep. yep. You have a bunch in here. Mm -hmm. Different type, Ohio State. We had a bunch of different things we could use. Buckeyes, Ohio State, um, champions, a bunch, a bunch of different deals. So look back at the school history, pulled some of that. Um, and, yeah, I mean, this was fun. This was cool. Yeah, cool for kit, sure. You know? For sure. So then we moved on to uh, Kansas Jayhawks. So Damaso illustrated these. You kind of see a little, yeah, I kind of see a little bit of difference as far as the mascot illustration from Davey to Damaso, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but that bird dunking. <laughs> dang. Or the so bottom, much life in his. Right. Yeah, this page, what, 62, uh, the bottom right, that yeah. uh, Jordan flying through just, the air. Yeah, he's just post. moving for <laughs> right? sure. That's fun. Um, bunch of type that you guys all worked on badges different things and then uh, yeah, that one's funny Davy's little character in the bottom right there the 
the, foam uh, finger foam finger with the feet yeah he loves and you it. can tell it's the jayhawk too he's totally like, <laughs> yeah yeah he's got the little fur coming out of his yeah. feet there on the bottom he loves that thing yeah he's got a couple of those uh when we were in san diego he uh what did he go? Oh, he went up to a Lakers game and he came home with like a big old oh, crazy sure. foam finger. <laughs> He's got yeah. a collection now. Yeah. 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 yeah so uh, more type for Kansas, page 65. Is that your fist on the bottom? Or did I think do that's that? Davey. Is that Davey? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's solid. It is. And then you got the Jayhawks type 66 with that dude walking. Yeah. And then so they took these and kind of chopped them up, um, blew them out, and mixed it with. Uh, basically motion graphics um some photos from stadium so that's page 68 you kind of see how it could be used on screen um it's a fun vibe yeah yeah it'd be fun you mm -hmm. know kind of cut everything up and get those mascots in there so so yeah that was kind of the end of that project um like i said they they went in a totally different direction i think it was a little bit simpler where each team just kind of came on as type or whatever mm -hmm. you know so they didn't they didn't need the new mascot illustrations or anything like that but definitely fun to explore that yeah you know that that side of it so super cool so that was espn i mean that was a fun one big uh big project super awesome yeah you hear that one colin and you're like stoked for yeah. a week let's let's do it yeah so let's uh let's move on to to a different client so the james brand sick right here so local company in portland if you guys don't know about these guys they make knives um you got yours right bow, bow, yeah. bow, bow. great uh that one's called what the chapter so oh is this the model yeah. of the chapter yeah okay yeah it's one of the same one that's here it's one yep. of their signature models um, i love it man but this box that the knife comes in like whoo Look at that thing. Like when do you when do you get a knife that's in a it's a cool that's in a box. Cool presentation. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's so rad. Makes you feel special. For sure. So they're making a lot of other things now besides knives, like mm -hmm. carabiners and pens mm -hmm. and, yep. and a lot of um, everyday carry items. Yeah. But definitely not your like, hey, I'm a hunter, you know, I'm mm -hmm. gonna go cut up an elk or something like right. that. Like they it's not really that. Uh Ryan the dude who started it uh, came from Burton Snowboards, worked in the action sports industry for years. So it was more of like a lifestyle knife company, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what caught my eye. I'm like, dude, these are like, th these look amazing as far as the product, but the presentation and, and the whole vibe of the company is Yeah, great, it's like know? very clean and dialed mm -hmm. and just everything's considered, you know? Yeah, so they came to us. We we're gonna deliver this, this big package to them. So that's kind of what we're gonna scrub through right now they had a bunch of taglines mm -hmm. which is always great when you start working with apparel or or any kind of like badge or even logo project if you have a bunch of copy or taglines or little you know three word filler, i know you're, you're always any asking, filler text yeah. yeah you're always like hey what's <laughs> what, what can else? i use yeah, what else can i use because you know <laughs> only when, two words doesn't yeah, do much doesn't, doesn't get you very far exactly so yeah so he had, he had a bunch. Yep, that um, helps. Some really fun kind of knife references and stuff like that. But they also have a lot of products. So, so the, sure. yeah, this first one here. Is this you? This is Dust. This is Dust, yep. yeah. You're seeing basically their lineup of knives um, at that time when we did this. So pretty cool. Big to small. Yep. yep. Like that on the back of that T. And you can see each one is, you know, different and has its own little special things about mm -hmm. it. Yeah, very different. This one's Dust in here as well. Got the Tiger. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that Tiger Panther do. Yeah. And that was one they ended up yeah. rolling with. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see this at the end. Yeah. Um maybe gotta simplify it or something, but yeah. I like this piece a lot. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah. Is this you? I just honestly I don't even remember. I feel like it is. It might be. I thought it was. It might be. Maybe not though. I don't know. No? Maybe Davy. Did Davy throw down on some? He did. Okay. Uh maybe I don't did know. Did you, you throw down on some? I did. I did. This isn't me. Okay. I did one or two in this. Okay. Um, Gosh, I don't know I don't who this was. Remember. Yeah. Um, Dustin. Yep, right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is cool. Page. Yeah. Uh, page five. One color. Yeah. Wearable. Uh, that was fun. Page too. six. This is dusty as yeah. well, right? Yeah. Good badge. Yeah. Page, page seven. <laughs> this is cool. That is cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is Dustin pocket. as well, right? Yeah. I yeah. Think you're right. Yeah. Like they, they should make this. That's awesome, man. Like I would love a tee like mm -hmm. this. 
I mean, shit, if it made sense, I, I would I would rip this thing off and put, put an axe through there. <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't make sense. The axe will be too small. It's a little mini hatchet. Yeah, it'll, just, yeah, it'll probably just look a little awkward. Yeah. Like, yeah, that doesn't work. But, Proportions but the are knife, off. like... Yeah, it's ready for yeah, it. Yeah, you can almost do it life-size and just have it a big-ass front yeah. print, you know? Yeah. Um, That's a good but, one. Yeah, it's cool. This is you, right? Yeah, it's me. This is fun. Yeah. They, there was something with these... Uh, it the was bottom. a Morse code... Uh, I can't remember what the, exactly. The dot, dot, yeah. line. There it, was it's something. letters for something. Yep. Shoot. That's what I was saying. They supplied a lot of stuff. Here I go. I can't even remember what I'm doing. Yep. This is you. Yep. That yep. one's me. This is cool. That was like the first drawing I made on my iPad. Like the day. Oh, really? I, I, yeah. yeah. I was like, Sick. oh shit, I can use this on my, for work. Let's go. I'm going to yeah. try this. That's illustrate great. all these little pieces. So here you can see they, they make a pen, you know, they have a bottle opener. They got a a keychain hanger and yeah that was just like the nod to all those little everyday carry posts where people just take a photo and line them up yeah, that's what i got in my yeah. pocket today uh -huh. line it up all cool yeah yeah this is great you know and then the all day every day uh tagline at the bottom like exactly yeah that's a fun one i mean i love the the dot pattern you used mm -hmm. as the drop shadow yeah like, a little subtle totally yeah that's great that was page nine so page ten is this you? Yep. Yep. There's another yep. one. Kind of roughed up badge. Yep. Hand drawn vibes. Yeah. It's fun. That's another one of mine. That's, yep. Yep. That's cool. Number page 11. Big type. Stay sharp. That's right. Stay sharp. <laughs> yeah. And this is where, you know, like we asked for them, hey, do you have taglines? He supplies a bunch. And then you can do a T like this. Exactly. You know? So. Got stuff to work with. Mm -hmm. Page 12. That's cool. Just a little lock up su suggestion of the blade and yeah. the M yeah. end of the blade there. This is cool. This yep. is yours as yep. well, right? That's iPad. Yep. yep. That's rad. Messing with the half tones again. Yeah. Those half tones are fun. That uh, one's sick. That's the Maso here. The, the type knife, is knife so cool. going through the M, page 14. Yeah. I mean, that's hand drawn type, you know? Yeah. You're not going to get that with a font. You can't type that out. Knife Town USA. Mm hmm. That's awesome. That is, right? <laughs> This is your right? oh yeah yeah the James brand mm -hmm. so TJB yeah it's like cool. kind of a nod to the old RCA logo yep Just yeah bold. they had a reference that uh -huh. yeah mm -hmm. yep and one of their yep page page sixteen oh this thing's crazy Damaso with the the dude stabbing his <laughs> stabbing his finger off like it's like that game you played yeah, back the, in the day the, <laughs> Yep, in between and then the finger, freaking mess and stab your finger off. Like, oh boy, how rad is that? <laughs> That's and sick. Stabtastic is one of their taglines. I think they have a trademark on that. Um, it's so a great yeah, one. that you know, locked up with the uh, with the knife stabbing through the thumb or finger. This is cool. Uh, page seventeen, uh, Jordan badge, right? Classic, yep, classic yep. badge. Wearable. Mm -hmm. One color. Page eighteen. We had to get Brandon involved in this thing. I mean, this is. A lot of this is right up his alley. I think he was super busy, so he just threw in one. But the skeleton skating a knife with trucks on it. Like. Never seen it, man. <laughs> Never seen it. So dope. Stay sharp. Yeah, that thing's, I love that. And it's a two-color print. Totally. Like, yeah. Come on, Super man. simple. Yeah. Some of this, like, so this didn't get used, so we got to make that an axe. Right? right? Skate an axe yeah. with trucks. Yeah. Yeah. That thing's awesome. Coming soon. I uh, like this piece. Knife Town, James Company. Yeah. So this is my one. Shout edition. out. Oh, this was you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> page nineteen. There you go. My one addition to the nice to the group. So just a little piece of type. I love that tagline. Oh yeah. Knife Town. Yeah. You know, Portland. Portland, if you don't know, has a lot of knife companies with uh who's all here? Um Is uh Benchmade here? I think Benchmade is here. Leatherman. Leatherman is here. Um, Gerber. Mm -hmm. Gerber knives. So there's like three or four heavy hitters in Portland as far as knife companies go. Yeah. So that's where they get the knife town from. Oh, I'm wrong. Brandon did. Uh, he, he threw in another piece. Banger. So page 20, the eagle holding the knife all day, every day. <laughs> that, that is dude a just, classic eagle. Yeah. And like you said on the last one, I mean, two-color print. <laughs> right. But detail for days and look at like the black shadowing you know, like underneath of the eagle like under his chest it's like yeah. it just sits so well there's like, like nothing there yeah. when you really look at it uh -huh. but so good if anybody can draw an eagle it's that dude yeah 
which they talked about in episode 16 because Harley. Oh, did they? Yeah. Nice. When Harley's like, they, they used to ask for Eagle after Eagle. Yeah. And then, and then you deal with Tony Hawk and you, you're you like, hey, I want a Hawk. Now and, make it a Hawk. Yeah, <laughs> let's do, all, you know, 10 different Hawks. Mm-hmm. And Brandon's like, I freaking could. <laughs> drawing an eagle in every every different way you <laughs> to know? do it so, in his sleep yeah so you tell him to do an eagle he's like done yeah that's a good one yeah it is so uh so that was kind of the kit so moving on to round two so here's their feedback great feedback um they wanted the thumb and just the thumb on the or uh it's the chopped actually, off yeah, finger. yeah chopped off finger yeah. which is the the middle finger there uh chopped off on the front of the t like that's great. Perfect. You see somebody wearing that, you're yeah. like, what the hell was on the front of your T-shirt there? Uh, turn around to the back, and a dude stabbing his freaking hand. Money. So yeah, this this was great. And then they reference we didn't have um, their actual knife in there. It didn't really look exactly like it. So that's their knife on the right. This is on page 22. Um, moving on to the next one. So uh, Dustin's cat wanted it simplified. Um, Dustin has showed a simplified version of it, so they kind of headed in that direction. Let's just keep it simple, one color uh, back it. Yep, know. classic. Yep. And then kind of blew it all out to uh, stickers, enamel pins, and everything. <laughs> the little digit. Yeah, that just the, the, funny, finger, the finger with the blood. <laughs> That's awesome. So and there's kind of the, the final kit here on page 25. That's sick. So... Super fun, fun graphics. Um, we've kind of talked with him about um, him using some of those other ones as well. So we'll see if we can get that to happen. But yeah, yeah it was cool. Yeah, it was a little bit of partnership with. Uh, we we got a bunch of knives uh, for our retreat, so everyone got a knife yeah. and everything from them. So That's right. Yeah. Yep. There it is. That's right. Yeah. Got the little lime green hit on it, mm-hmm. all black. Pretty sick. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. So yeah, cool brand. No, fun to work with great taglines great content um and just cool company so it's a good one so yeah so that's about it um what do we got so we have some new uh stickers in the shop for sale some so, big ones yeah we got some big ones so new uh sticker pack basically three big stickers um these are from yeah big ass ones right? yeah i mean this thing's oversized are, yeah these are massive uh with Zarco is a client of ours they're up in seattle uh we did a bunch of badges for them yeah you know? that was a fun project yeah and so he uh he made a bunch of stickers for us so we're gonna sell these sticker packs basically three three large black and white stickers um in a pack and then we'll have these up there for sale as well the uh <laughs> the yeti dude with the that helmet. dude's awesome he's ready to go party time <laughs> yep so those will be up there as well large stickers put them on your cooler whatever so yeah good shit yeah so that's that's about it that's what we got going on this week yeah right on yeah cool well, another thanks, one man. in the books yeah another one yeah. down right? yeah yep. thank you guys for watching um, appreciate subscribe. you hit us with questions anything you see yeah let us know yeah as we're getting closer to the 20 mark so yeah yeah we're excited still moving cool hit uh hit that bell or ring it or whatever you got to do on YouTube. All right. <laughs> <Bing>. Cool. <laughs> right on. Thank you guys. <laughs>